channel once again you're watching Amen here on Tall Beauty so in today's video I will be creating this look which I am wearing here so I've created the makeup myself but I take no credit for my hair my hair was done by Kay's Hair and Makeup who I've linked over here um, do go give her channel a follow um, look at all of the good stuff that she's got she does brilliant hair she also does makeup and she also did my lovely nails and then my jewellery, this beautiful set which I am wearing, is from Harvey's Fashion and it's so, so, so beautiful. I'm so loving this set. Um, it's such a unique and beautiful set. This wasn't the one I wore on my wedding day, but if I had to go back, I'd probably choose this and wear this. And it's just so lovely. I will link her page over here. So remember Harvey's Fashion. Follow her on her Instagram as well. And you guys can see all of her beautiful sets. They're really nice. I've also got um, another picture of my morning outfit on my Instagram as well. And I'm also wearing Harvey's Fashion um, jewellery in that picture as well. I'll link that over here so you guys can see that set as well. But it's just so beautiful. So please do give my lovely ladies a follow. So Kay's Hair and Makeup for my hair and Harvey's fashion for my jewelry. But this is how this look turned out. And if you guys are liking this look, then hit the subscribe button down below. Give my channel a subscribe. And that is it. And watch the video to see how we've created this look. Okay guys, so let's get into the video. So I am going to start off with applying some of this L'Oreal Aloe Water onto my face. The one I use is for dry skin. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I absolutely love this, especially because it's so super lightweight. So for an event, for a wedding, for any kind of party or just in general, this underneath your makeup just makes your makeup feel really, really light and not too cakey and heavy. And then I go in and apply some of my YSL Blur Primer and I'm just going to start by applying this all over my face as well and really cover up all of those pores. This is one of my go-to favourite primers, it just leaves your base feeling so beautiful and smooth. Then I'm going to take my favourite two foundations, the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Huda Beauty Full Filter Foundation. I have linked my shades down below in the description bar. And I'm just going to blend both of these foundations onto the back of my hand and start applying these onto my face with a damp beauty blender. I absolutely love the blend of both of these foundations and the Huda Beauty just smells so beautiful and floral. The Huda Beauty foundation is just so super glowy and the coverage of this foundation is literally it's full coverage. So if you want that full coverage on your wedding day, this is the perfect foundation. And then I just feel like with the double wear, it just gives that kind of like that underglow. I just love both the foundations mixed together. And like I said, for an event, um, for your wedding and anything else, the mix of these two foundations is just really good. Especially if you want your foundation to last throughout the day, then I would definitely recommend um, both of these foundations. And then I'm also going to apply the foundation onto my eyes as well. It's just something I do. And then plus you're gonna be wearing eyeshadow anyways, so I just wanna um, apply that there. And then I also went and applied some foundation just underneath my chin as well. And then I shall be taking the mix of the two concealers, one from Dose of Colors and one from Maybelline Fit Me. And then I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and really highlight those areas. I love to have a bright eye, especially on your wedding day. You really want that area to be bright. And then I'm also going to apply some just onto my chin, some onto my nose as well. And then a little bit on my forehead just to really conceal and highlight those areas. Just really make those areas look really ni nice and bright. And they're really going to help with contouring your face as well. So as you guys can see, I applied the Dose of Colors first and then applied the Fit Me just underneath my eyes to really brighten them up. And then I am just taking my damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend out all of the concealer. You can always just spray your beauty blender with a little bit of water or a setting spray if you feel like any of your kind of concealer is drying out or your highlighter is drying out. You can always go in and just dampen your blender a little bit more. 
And when you're blending out the concealer, you really want to make sure you're pushing all of the product into your face. I just feel like it really helps to make your products and your makeup last so much longer and throughout the day. And especially if you've got a long lasting day where you need your makeup to last the whole day, definitely really push that product into your face just so it stays there all day. And then I, as you guys can see, I'm also kind of just blending out my eyes as well. And then to start setting all of this, I will be taking my Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. Absolutely love this powder. I always talk about it in all of my videos. And I'm just going to apply this onto the concealed areas just with my damp beauty blender again. And if you guys can see, I am really taking all of this powder and taking it right up and high, um, just kind of like past my eye, just because I really want this area to look super bright and I want to really make my face really nice and contoured. And this is just going to help to really push your face up higher just by using makeup. So I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and usually I don't set the powder, but today I will be. And then I am going to go ahead and fill in my brows. For my brows, I am using the Anastasia Brow Powder and I am using this in the shade Ebony. And I'm using this using my Zoeva Browline Brush. And as you guys can see, I just filled in the brow kind of underneath the brow and I'm just filling this on top. I will be looking to do a full tutorial on how I do my brows. So if you guys want to see something like that, then leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get that up for you guys. And as you guys can see, this is how my brow looks. And then I went in using my Anastasia brow gel and just filled in my brows. This will just help to make sure I don't have any hairs on my eyebrows flying around, especially on my wedding day. And then I am taking the shade Raw Sienna from the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette. And I'm just going to start apply this um, just into the crease of my eye and just onto my eye. So I'm just applying this as a transition shade. And if you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I haven't gone too heavy onto my eyes. I didn't really want to make my eyes too smoked out. I wanted the attention of the makeup to be all over my face, not just onto my eyes. So I kept them pretty nice and simple. And then just taking a blending brush, I am just going to blend out all of the shadow, the transition shade. And as you guys can see, like I said, my eyes are so subtle and I have literally just applied three shadows onto my eyes and it's such a simple, easy look to do. So now taking the shade Red Otra, if I'm saying that correctly, I'm just going to start applying this at the end of my eye. And I'm just going to take this with a small brush and literally just patting this onto the end of my eye. And then I won't put too much product on. I'm just going to kind of keep it really nice and simple. I don't want this to be too harsh. So as you guys can see, I literally just took the smallest amount of product. And this palette is amazing because the pigment from this palette is just really good. And then just taking a blending brush, I'm just going to blend all of this out. And as you guys can see, when you blend it out, the transition and how this just mix in so well it just looks really lovely And also I have mentioned this previously every time I have done my eye looks, the more you blend the better the eyeshadow looks so make sure blending is the key. And then I'm going to take this beautiful shade here. This shade is called Primavera if I'm saying that correctly but I'm just going to start applying this from kind of like the inner corner of my eye and taking this to the middle. As it is our wedding day, it is a bridal look and kind of like an event look. We do want the eyes to be sparkly still. We still want to have a simple eye look, but we still want to give it a little bit of sparkle, especially if it is your big day. So I'm just taking this and I'm applying this onto my eyes. And like I said, the pigment is amazing. And this is me picking up the shadow without any kind of water or setting spray on my brush. Recently, I've just been feeling like if you've got a good cream shadow, you don't need any water or you don't need to spray your brush. Just applying it simply from 
the palette straight onto your eye is always really good so I went ahead and applied this onto my eyes and as you guys can see it really brings out the eye look and really puts everything together and then just taking a brush I'm just blending out the middle bit of my eye I don't go in and blend anything else out I'm just blending just the ends and very little amount just because I want my eyes to still look decent and then I am just going to take a brush and push in all of that product into my face and just brush away all of the setting powder. And then I'm also going to go in with my beauty blender and push it all into my face as well. Also, please excuse me, I haven't done a voiceover in such a long time and it just feels so weird to be doing one today. But then I am going to be taking my NYX Vinyl Liner. This is in the matte. I believe you can also get this in like a satin as well, so it is shiny. But I prefer the matte one. And then I am literally going to be doing my everyday casual usual liquid liner. So I'm just doing my simple winged liner, nothing too heavy. Like I said, the eyes are simple. I've said this a numerous amount of times already. But I'm just carrying on with the simplicity and just applying my usual winged liner. Nothing too thick. And this will be the only kind of dark liner I'm applying to my eyes. For the inner eyes, I will be keeping it simple as well. I will be showing you guys later. And then for my mascara, I am taking the L'Oreal Voluminous mascara and i'm just going to apply this onto my lashes and as you guys can see it's doing nothing for my lashes my lashes are so ruined with all the lash extensions that i had been doing but i'm just going to apply this onto my lashes and prep them for the falsies which i'll be putting on later on And now I will be taking this bronzer here. This is from Superdrug. It's the MUA bronzer. I have been using this so much. I feel like this is so underrated and especially for a Superdrug's kind of own brand. This is really good and the pigment from this bronzer is absolutely amazing. I am using this bronzer because this is so great. It matches my skin perfectly so it's not going to leave any ashiness on my skin and it's going to give me that underglow which I love. So I'm just applying this underneath my cheekbones to really contour my face and really make my face look lovely and sharp. I also apply some onto my forehead as well. And then I'm also going to apply some just to the bottom of my chin as well. Because like I always do, I never use a cream contour. I always use a bronzer just to kind of contour my face. And also, please excuse me, my lighting keeps changing in my video as well. I was working with natural lighting, so it keeps kind of, the sun keeps coming and going. And then just taking my blusher, this one is from NYX. It's their foreplay um, in their baked blushes. I'm just going to smile away and apply this on the highs of my cheeks. Now, a good blush is always like amazing, especially on your big day. You cannot go wrong with some blushed cheeks. So I'm just applying this um, a good, a very good amount onto my cheeks. And can you guys see like the underglow from the blush as well? So this is all without a highlighter. It's already giving me that glow. And then talking about highlighter, I will be using this one here. This is by the um, brand Ofra and I'm mixing in my two favorites. It's Blissful and Bali. These are my top highlighters. And for my wedding day, if I was to do it again, I would use these two highlights because you seriously cannot go wrong with these highlights. They are amazing. And can you guys see how much they're just shining and the glow that they add every time anyone asks me about my glow during the spring summertime it's always this one and then I'm also going to apply some just onto my temples as well I love having that kind of a wet glowy look so I'm also going to apply some onto my nose just on the tip and just on the ridge of my nose some onto my chin basically everywhere I really just want to have that glow especially on your big day you really really want to look really nice and glowy so next I will be taking this here the iconic um, prep set glow this is another very key product I would say in getting your glow so I'm just gonna apply a very 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 good amount 
let this all sink into my face and let the glow kind of come out within and then next I will be taking my all-time favorite nude lip liner this is from Kiko the 533 and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips I'm also going to be outlining my lips as well that's totally up to you if you want to outline your lips I love to outline my lips it just makes them look a little bit more plumpier and especially when you're wearing a lipstick very kind of close to your face like a nude one which I am it's really easy to outline your lips and make them look a little bit plumpier so as well as outlining I also will be going in and filling my lips with this as well I just feel like filling your lips in with your liner just really helps to make your lipstick last throughout the day and I feel like nude is a new in for brides nowadays as well so I wanted a good nude and then I went in with my favorite burnt spice liquid lipstick from MAC cosmetics these two are my top like they are my go-to for my um, nude lips so I wanted to have this for my bridal look so I went ahead and just applied this all over my lips and then I wanted to apply something to my lower lash line as well just to really kind of blend it in with the whole eyeshadow look so I went back in with the red okra color which I applied on the outer corners of my eyes and I'm just going to apply this all over my lash line so as you guys can see I go right in as well even though I never applied that in my inner corner but I do go in and apply all of this and then after applying this I go in with a liner as well so I went in with a white liner like I said I didn't want to have a smoked out look I wanted it to be really kind of simple so I felt like a white liner would go better with my eyeshadow rather than a brown or a darker liner so I went in with the white liner and this just really blends in with the eyeshadow on my eyes as well and then just taking a small brush I am just going to blend all of this out I also went ahead and applied some lashes off camera I am wearing the Tati lashes in TL3 and there you go guys this is the finished makeup look I really hope you guys are liking the makeup which you guys are seeing and now you guys will see the final finished look Hey guys, so this is the finished look. So this is the makeup which I have created and I got my hair done from Kay's Hair and Makeup. So she's done a beautiful job for my hair. Like I would never, ever, ever be able to do my hair like this. I'm so bad at hair. But um, I'm just so like overwhelmed with how the entire look has turned out. So I wanted to really create a kind of a totally different look from what I wore on my wedding so here is what I looked like on my wedding and um, the makeup artist did a brilliant job for my wedding day but if I was to get married again and I had a reception this is a look that I would want to you know wear so I'm just so like so overwhelmed with my hair I think that just kind of really brang out it's just really brought out the entire look and I've just gone for a very kind of like simple eye I didn't want something too smoky, just something really nice and simple. And then I've gone for a nude lip because nude lips are really in for the kind of bridal looks nowadays. But this is how the entire look turned out. And um, please do not forget, if you guys are liking, then hit the subscribe button down below, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you guys will be made aware. And then also please follow my Instagram page which I have linked here. I do loads of looks and I'll be having this look on there as well. And then I've also recently started TikTok so follow me here on my TikTok as well. Um, and just before I get off don't forget if you guys are loving the hair which is just so amazing please um, follow Kay's hair and makeup. I've linked her Instagram page here. Go check her page out, have a look at her other brides, have a look at her hair and makeup as well. And then my nails as well, which I've been absolutely loving. I've mentioned them in my recent vlog. Um, I went and got my nails done from her as well. So she does lots of good stuff. So check her Instagram page out, give her a follow and support her. I've also linked her page down below in the description bar as well. So either way, you can just go and have a look at that. But um, that is going to be it from me for now and hopefully I shall see every single one of you in my next video. Bye guys!